It is time for the NFL Coach Photo Breakdown. One of our favorite things. It's a tradition unlike any other. Uh, we used to do this all the way back on radio, which is, imagine that. We're doing this on video. Doing that on radio. Woo-wee! We were pioneers, John. Pioneers. Uh, uh, by the way, um, now I'm going to have to edit the podcast because it wasn't Brunskill. It was Garland that was the center. So thanks. Give me extra work, Marcel. So you, you got to be very, very careful with the comments, guy. <laughs> you got to be. It's creating it, work for me. Yeah. Stand by. Making a note. Just sit in silence and look at the photo. Yeah, just soak it in, everybody. Let's soak it in. Why is Matt okay. Rule so fat? So here, we've got several angles here. We got we got your thoughts. We want to hear from you guys what you think about this. Uh, we've got the first angle, which is a, a, this was, I think, the first. I don't remember which photo that came from. Then there was the side angle, which is good. And then we've got, you know, we can start with this photo. Uh and we can zoom in and, and bounce around a little bit, but holy well, I, I smokes. Saw, well, I, I saw someone tweet out, what is Kyle and Pete looking at? Because if you zoom in on this photo, every guy is looking forward. Those two guys look like they're staring off in the distance. And uh, my, my guess was someone on the beach is attempting to run the football, and those two could not look. It's a, it's a running play on the beach. And if you look, if you told me who's the two guys that love running the ball the most, I'd be like, Kyle Shanahan's one. Pete Carroll lives to run the ball. He'd be up there, and they are just drawn to someone on the beach running the football. I like that. My my take on those two guys was that this is a bad job by the photographer this year. Clearly, these somebody thinks there's multiple photographers. Because look, in this photo, Salah's looking the other direction. We've got the sun in everybody's eyes, so maybe that's a part of it. And uh, somebody somewhere else said something, I think, like, guys, we'll take one over here. You know, like maybe it was Schefter. Let me get a photo. So I thought bad job by the uh, by the photographer on that one. But guys, right. who, who is behind Sala? So uh, that is a pasty fellow that uh, who is that? Who Coach is that? the I feel like a, I, I feel like like my first in my oh, head was like, I, oh, Shermer. But I Shermer's know, not a head coach. Who I know it? who it is. Who is it? It's Uberflus. Oh. It's Uberflus. Uberflus. Okay. Does Nate Hackett look like he just got done playing at, like, uh, you know, McNeese State? Honestly, I thought it was a strength and conditioning coach when I saw this one. Did you know Nate Hackett was, like, in that, like, kind of thick? No. I did not. I did not. What, what kind of shoes you got on there? Just, uh, like... Yeah, just casual. A lot of, everyone shoes. wearing the same shoes here, as you can see. Yeah, everyone wearing. Uh, well, not everyone, but most of them wearing the same shoes. We've got uh, McDermott here in sneakers, Lululemon pants, and a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> McDermott. Got, McDermott's got the vibe of like, you know, I'm from the Northeast. It's it's supposed to be stiff, but we're also in Florida. It's super hot. I'm naturally a Travis Matthews guy. Like he's wearing a Travis Matthews shirt. That's all. That's the only shirts he wear. But like you know, it's kind of dress up. You know, we just we got a new stadium, so it's like, do I put on the blazer? But why? Why am I wearing the blazer? Like there is no point for him to be wearing the blazer, right? No point. No <laughs> point. I think. Um. I, how about Josh? Let's talk about Josh here for a second. First of all, I think I. It looks to me like he's got his thumbs in his pockets. To me, always thumbs in your pocket is an awful look for a photo. Just looks uncomfortable. He kind of looks like the Raiders coach in this photo, <laughs> right? Like a little overdressed. Are th- but are those like uh, game day slacks that he would have had from 14? Or you realize the Patriots don't wear slacks on game day, so that's not an option. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I thought he was wearing like Gucci's. These might actually be Air- black, all black Air Force Ones now that I look at them. But I can't tell. I thought they were dress shoes at first. What- I, I That was my, you know, the dress shoes with the, uh, you know, like the thing over the kind of where the, the tongue is. Oh, like the, I thought they were, oh, the penny loafers. Is he wearing black penny loafers? That's, that's, that's those. what I assumed. I, I thought that zoomed in on him right here. I thought maybe that shiny piece was at the base of the air force one at the bottom of the laces, but that's too high for it to be on the lace. Right? Yeah. That's what I thought, but I could, could be wrong. Zoom, zoom up on Josh's body. 
because I, as someone pointed out to me in the DMs, you know, Josh in his heyday, in his prime, when he really became famous, was just very skin. Just looked like you know a former D one double A star who became a great coach. And I would say the last several years, it feels like I don't feel like he's been this big for that long. I mean, we've seen a lot of Josh McDaniels over the years, guy. When when do you think he added this weight? Was this when Tom left? He just kind of fell off the wagon. It, it feels like hard a to know. Body. Hard to know, right? Because so many of his games, he's coaching he's in big jackets. Up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's long, long worth... winters where he's used to living. Yeah, w- wouldn't you say though? He's, I mean, he's big. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's where the all black comes in. You want to keep going, right, to Mike? As we go to Mike, let's just note that I just noticed that Mike and Josh are actually wearing the same undershirt. If you look closely on Josh, you can see the outline that he is also wearing uh, the same undershirt that McDaniel is. Uh, In seventh grade, I remember somebody told me, like, you do not call those beaters anymore. I was like, whoa, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, to me is the, uh, you know, what they used to be called uh, back in, you know, our day. Just that's what everyone said. Is that an undershirt or an undergarment? So I had one. Uh, to me, Dennis Allen is wearing an undershirt. They are not wearing undershirts. We did skip over. We can come back to Dennis Allen and McVeigh. I had one, I remember, in high school, and I only had it. I kept it because it had a polo, like a little polo, the Ralph Lauren polo logo on the bottom, and so I liked for that to stick out of the bottom and whatever I was wearing over it because I thought that was cool. I don't actually understand. I've never understood what that undershirt accomplishes. Me either. What's the primary reason for an undershirt in your mind? Uh, I, I honestly... Probably, I would say the last decade, I haven't worn undershirts since probably high school. So I don't, they don't work for me. I don't know. What, what is the point of I don't know what the point of them for is. For me, the point of an undershirt is usually pit sweat. I want to keep the pit sweat off of the shirt that I'm wearing. And so I put the undershirt on underneath it. Niners all day says it holds your man boobs down, um, covers your nipples, makes you look slimmer. Depends. I mean, if you're wearing the wrong shirt over an undershirt and the undershirt is tucked in, then what you get, which is bad, is you get that that belly button Agreed. shadow through the shirt. Whereas without an undershirt, your exterior shirt just kind of hangs over. If you tuck an undershirt, you get that belly button like shadow crevasse, which is a bad look. So this does not feel like a big undershirt crowd. Would you agree? A lot of dad bods to just throw the shirt over. Well, here's the other thing I don't understand. If you're wearing the McDaniel undershirt, part of the point of that undershirt, which is different than the Dennis Allen crew neck undershirt, is like you're going to look like Sean. Like Sean might have an undershirt on here. I don't know. But the yeah, point. I, I think Sean, Sean McVay is a non-undershirt. Guy. I would agree with you. But my point is Sean has the button open. The linen shirt, which is he's got the linen joggers and the linen shirt. First of all, it, amazing. Do you think they stood next to each other because their names are basically the same? They thought it would be funny. No. Or they just randomly ended up near each other. I think they randomly ended up near each other. It does feel. Although like we got Ma- a Mick and a Mick McDermott McDaniel McDaniel. That's true. We got MC here. It does feel like. Mike McDaniel feels a little lost. Anna McVeigh. We got McVeigh, McDermott, McDaniel, McDaniels. So maybe Stefanski, there's something to it. Lovey Smith. Nothing uh, there. Dennis Allen, no. We got the Mickey D crew, though, right here. The McDees. Sean McVeigh. I, I, we did years ago when Del Rio spread the legs. That's a fucking alpha. I, like, to me, he was the alpha of this photo. Front and center, the pose, the 20K watch, the shades, the like, guys, I don't have picks. I don't even know why. I, I I came here. I don't even know why to hang out with my fiance at this resort. We're not doing, I'm not doing any business here. The non-smile. I'm just, I, yeah, I'm just here to have a few cocktails and hit the beach. Like, not, and talk a little ball with you guys. But I, I'm the alpha. Like, there's no way four, three years ago. Like, the confidence he has to have. He's the youngest guy in the photo. You know? He's younger than McDaniel. Zach Taylor? I think he's younger than Zach Taylor, too. Okay. And he's just... 
I think he's at the point he didn't even hesitate. If assuming no one said you stand front and center, you're the champion, that he just went gravitated right there. Why is there no one in the center? Why is this spot just open? Well, I think Bill didn't show up, right? Again. Well, Bill didn't show up. Arians didn't show up. Dan Campbell didn't show up. Mike McCarthy didn't show up, which Dan, Dan Campbell's the one I don't get. Like, tall guys should always want to be in a photo. But it you feels told like, me. It feels McCarthy's like Tomlin, not even Tomlin there, right? should be standing next to Sean. Tomlin's kind of hiding. Tomlin's behind Kyle back here. I think Vrabel thinks the whole thing's stupid, but he's also like a high level guy. So he's like, I'm not going to break the rule and not, I'm not too good to show up for this photo. Also, I do think, I think. Go ahead. Once like Andy and Ron Rivera consistently show up, like you're, if you're not Bill, I think you're kind of a slap if you don't show up. Right. Like I, I give Kyle's guys all the credit. Like they all here. Right. Shouldn't they all be there? Like if, if Andy's going to show up, you should show up. It's just a fucking picture. Right. I agree. Look at the floor. It looks like he's kind of embracing the moment. <laughs> he's just... That's a Travis Matthew he's wearing, right? Yeah, he's got some Nikes on. And That's a Travis shirt. Matthew. Uh, Stefanski to me, th- people might be too young for this, but I remember we used to get the newspaper like the Sunday and all the ads were in it. And you'd see like, you know, the JC Penny or one of those Coles ads and there'd be the men's section. And there was just like the guy weren't like, that's the guy. Like he looks like that model from those catalogs or those magazine kind of inserts. Good call. But always with like a, sl- a white black beard thing going, right? Who's, who's behind Stefanski? That is Frank. Uh, that is Frank. And Frank, I, sp- I, I am the same way, so I'm not making fun. Does not get a lot of sun or doesn't tan. And has a white beard, which I think makes him look a little paler. Yeah, so very, very pasty white. He went... Hard to tell if he's wearing just a short sleeve button up, so he's wearing like a black undershirt, or he's just mm-hmm. wearing a long sleeve with a black undershirt. Not the greatest look, uh, but like you see the little crew, like Doug's like, I'm happy to be back, but kind of awkward. Andy's like kind of his guy, so they just situated together. Yep. Uh, we got Lovey and Zach Taylor. Uh, Lovey stuck with the beard. Yeah. Lovey, I like Lovey's got the slacks, but untucked. So that's he's, you know, he's comfortable. Those are light and breezy. Um, they might be the Travis Matthews. They might not be hard to tell. Uh, Andy again in the Hawaiian shirt. I think, how about, you know, it's Ron's Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. I think they, uh, they're obviously really good buddies. Maybe they, you know, at the, they did a lot of stuff with John Madden. Maybe they talked about it. Like, I'm going to start incorporating. Because one thing, Andy feels like the dad. I mean, it's not like Ron's some spring chicken anymore. Like, he's kind of got a dad mode, right? If you think Ron Rivera, he could easily have a couple kids in their mid-20s. You know, he's like a empty nester. So it's like, I, I actually think it fits him. <laughs> Doesn't he? Uh, uh, yeah, totally. But I think Ron, it's, I can't zoom in any closer. Ron, ha- this is a Washington football team branded Hawaiian shirt. It's got the logo Genius. on the chest. Can you see that? It's got the logo on the chest. So he's wearing team colors. So that's a if good... you told me that Ron Rivera <laughs> was the head coach of a high school power and he's been there for 30 years, like he has that vibe to him. Or oh, McVay, yeah. if you, you just all said, the like, famous coaches come to his camps. Yeah, McVay was a star NFL player. The owner loved him and just immediately made him the head coach. That's kind of the vibe he gets. Like he, he didn't get like some 10 year worked his way up from nothing vibe, does he? <laughs> no, no. But McVeigh looks like if playmakers had a superstar coach, what they would make that guy look like. It makes sense why ESPN wanted him to do Monday Night Football. <laughs> I mean, was, okay, Dennis Allen, uh, the under the crew neck undershirt. I mean, it's just never it's just never good. Well, wasn't um, didn't people especially make fun for a guy that him. looks like he's got good skin tone? Like he doesn't need to hide a pale chest. Yeah, to me the thing Jawline. is like he was known when he was with the Raiders as a stick in the mud. Like he's just stiff. He's tight. He looks tight right there doesn't he he just looks tight like yeah. just just relax and is that is he, is he trying to hang out with sean to loosen it's like i need you know players have changed i need to loosen up a little so i, I gravitate know. toward I this guy so. can he teach me a few tricks the white belt it feels like Always his wife it feels mood. like his wife dressed him tried to make him look cool but he he refused to untuck the shirt and just a he just looks tight looks tight uh again i mean if <laughs> If Nate Hackett isn't buying around for everybody at the bar, I'd be shocked. 
Yeah. Dude. Okay. <laughs> Matt Rule. You know these are uh, these are linen pants that are too long, which is saying something because Matt's not a short guy. Clearly, right? He's as tall. Hackett's tall, and Matt's just as tall as him. So, I think these are probably long because they're they're big waist. Um, the classic, you know, the, this is the shirt with like the Marlin logo on it, right? Which is a classic, like 45 to 55 year old, still kind of hip, could easily be having some beers and barbecue on a Saturday afternoon, letting the neighbors all come over yep. with TV, with the final four behind them, rocking, t- telling stories about his bets. Yeah. Does not shop at Nordstrom, like shops at a men's wear, like a nice men's clothing store, right? That you would see like. In Carmel, like that's where he shops. Like right? probably what Tommy Bahama was 15, 20 years ago, right? Yeah. Is that what is that brand? Is that brand not Tommy? It's not Tommy Bahama. It might, might be. I think they carry it at a lot of stores. I feel if it's not Tommy Bahama, where Tommy Bahama is right next to it. Yeah. You know? Actually, you. I remember you had one of those shirts that like your I, cousin gave you. Yeah. No, this rich guy that my f- family friend oh. used to give me all these clothes, and I remember having the shirt. It's actually gotcha. not terrible material. Gotcha. Uh, he, rule. He does look guy extremely unhealthy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. extremely unhealthy. I don't like, remember him looking that kind of disheveled at Baylor. The NFL is a stressful place. I had to Google how old he was because to me, he's got like 58 year old vibes. He's 47. Yeah. He is not very old. Well, especially like, I bet- next to Harbaugh. And Harbaugh is what, 50. Is Harbaugh 57? It might be. I mean, if you told me John Harbaugh is 58, I'd believe you. John Harbaugh is 59 years old. He's tr- how much he just looks like the NFL is going to kill him, guy. I mean, I mean, it just looks like the this experiment and this money grab has been one of the biggest disasters of his life. Because the other thing, I saw Miz and Maine tweet out like. These guys need some help. I don't think people realize that the average income, if you did the high end guys, even with the low income is probably like eight and a half million dollars in this photo. This photo besides Sean and Cliff Kingsbury does not give literally one fuck about anything in their closet. They, they do not care their wife shop for anything. Six months of the year, they wear the same thing basically every day, which is team sweats, team apparel, the occasional like collared button up shirt. They're all about football, and I, I just see a guy that is not in a good spot because the majority of these guys, even like Nate Hackett, right, first-year head coach, whatever, might get stressed out, or even, you know, Dennis Allen is a head coach again. These guys have been in the NFL for a long period of time. Like, this guy was living the college life, and then he transitions. It's It's got to be like a completely different world, and it's gone so shitty. I mean, it, it just, it's gone so bad. But did, what was PFT's tweet that you told me about? Oh, he, he looks like he's wearing shoulder pads. I saw somebody else say, it might have actually been him, that he looks like he is Mike Vrabel's puppet. Just looks. I mean, all these guys in the picture are just, they've been in the NFL a long time. Matt Rule looks like a guy. What does that say? Uh, who has tried and tested, who has a tried and Tested opinion on the correct way to light a fart on fire. Uh, all right, here we got John Harbaugh. Not a lot to say here. He's wearing. It looks like he's wearing the Johnny O brand. Like uh, those same shirts you and I bought at um, uh, Olympic. At Olympic, we got Sirianni here. Looks like I'm pretty sure we all had that shirt in middle school. I don't know what that is. Yeah, but uh, a little color blocking going on. We got Arthur uh, Blank, uh, not Arthur Blank, Ar- Arthur Smith here. I mean, I God, would say he needs a tan guy. <laughs> he is the next candidate. You remember the guy? Remember there used to be that Twitter account that was Andrew Luck's letters from from uh, like the war. Oh yeah, yeah. And it was like, "Hello, dearest mother." I would say he's next up in that without Andrew Luck around. Um, Staley back there putting on a height display. Vrabel, Vrabel to me just. Just kind of has it. Right? Low stress. Low stress. I would say <laughs> he doesn't. Just, he needs, just no anxiety. He, like, he doesn't normal. get anxious about like what's the schedule today? Oh, what's happening at three? Do I have? Do I need to be back by four? B 
BMOC. See, he just looks to me like a high school senior who's already been accepted just, to college. Just born for it, you know, just just blends in. I actually think Saul has become a lot more comfortable in his own skin. Like, look at that kind of the crew he's pounding around with there, like right next to Rabel. Like, he's Kyle's guy, but he he aspires to be Mike, you know? And he's kind of, I feel like, trying to like take some just mental notes about the, Mike's posture, Mike's demeanor because you know robert's pretty even keel guy but ultimately like mike is that dude like he's banging off playoff fucking appearances yeah, has a sweet resume as a player everyone just it's hard to meet any nfl fan like what do you think of mike Vrabel? you're like that guy's pretty cool you know yeah remember didn't he even harbaugh get in a fight was that last year on the on the on the field at like the 50 yard line remember that pregame the they teams had to separate them other? yeah the other bald guy I I do feel that Dayball little uncomfortable just feeling his way out. Also, oh, he's few, we got a few different photos there. Pretty overweight, so you know you can kind of hide in the back. You don't want everyone making fun of you, like Rule. Like he's a big guy. Smart, smart. Yeah, that's a good point. Sala eyes closed in that photo. Uh, <laughs> how about Kyle just <laughs> on stilts? Because I saw a few people like, I did not know how tall Kyle. I mean, when you look at it right here, imagine if Kyle was that much taller than everybody else. With the but, he, short he's not, but he, him and Robert are like the same height, right? Well, yeah, because Kyle is standing on. Oh, on the, he's Kyle's cheating. supposed to be in Salah's row, Got but he took a step back. Do you think Kyle's. Look down here. These are Kyle's feet. This gotcha. is the row. Salah is like eight inches lower than Kyle. So Kyle did the sneaky move, which uh, which I give him credit for. Is there any doubt in your mind that either online or at the mall in Los Gatos that his wife purchased that shirt? Like Kyle did not go somewhere tangibly and buy that shirt off the rack. Do you agree with that? I would be shocked if Kyle has bought anything off the like himself been in a store in a long time. Yeah. Did you listen to the? You didn't tell me this. What did I see? Oh, Instagram. Brock Osweiler went on uh, this golf pod. The yeah, I heard guys. about that. Yeah, and and Osweiler told this story about Peyton Manning, and he said his rookie year, his job was before they went on road trips was to get snacks, and it would just change every week. Right, some weeks it would be go get McDonald's cheeseburgers, some weeks it would be go get you know Wendy's fried chicken sandwiches, whatever. It was like usually dirty eats, and the guys were like, "We want Chipotle." So he gets everyone on the offense's order for Chipotle. And they're like, you got to go ask Peyton. You know, you always ask Peyton last, what do you want from Chipotle? And he goes to Peyton Manning. He goes, hey, man, I'm going to Chipotle before the plane leaves. What do you want? And Peyton goes, uh, just get me a cheeseburger and fries. And Brock kind of looks at him, but Peyton's like dead serious. And then he walks away and he goes to like Brandon Stokely or Wes Welker. And he goes, and Brock was like, you know, the first year around Peyton, I was kind of on eggshells. I, I never wanted to, like, kind of leave him alone, never overstep my boundaries. And I, it was like, I didn't think he was messing with me. He was dead serious. And Wes Welker, Brand Stokely, looks at him and goes, you have to realize something about Peyton Manning. And I think a lot of guys would fall under this a little bit. Was like, he doesn't shop for himself. He doesn't go to a lot of these places. He does not know what Chipotle is. So just tell him that Chipotle is a Mexican play. Like, you get burritos and tacos, and he'll just tell you what to get them. And he goes back, and he tells, he's and he says, Peyton, Chipotle doesn't have burgers. It's just, you know, burrito or bowl. And Peyton goes, oh, yeah, just get me whatever you're He was dead serious. And if you think about this picture, the younger guys, like McVeigh or Kyle, right? But there's some of the older guys, like Andy Reid, uh, he would know because he's an eater. But, like, how many of these guys over 55 that have been head coach, Mike Tomlin, like, when's the last time Mike Tomlin – where he lives just has gone into Safeway to just like pick up like on his way home milk. Like, can he do that? Probably not. No, right. Probably not. I mean, Gronk does go to the barbershop, but, but I'd say players, you know, have more free time. Have, yeah. Have more free time. And, and Gronk is a little bit of an outlier. Yeah. Uh, he blocked Shanahan blocked Tomlin. Look at Mike's face. You, Mike is making a face with his eyebrows here. Kind of like a, Kyle's going to step up in front of Mike. That's a good call there, JT. Kyle looks like the uh, the high school senior that was just really skinny, can't put any weight on, and then you see him at 35, and he's like a big beer drink, and he's just <laughs> really fat. 
but at the time he was really skinny in high school. Like, how is Kyle in his early forties? Like, his genetics are pretty good, or is he just doesn't eat? Uh, well, his genetics are pretty good. We could just we can say that pretty definitively, right? When you look at Mike, Mike not only is felt, but Mike has a Mike is older, but Mike stayed young looking. I think for a long time. Would you guess Kyle's a big eater though? No, I bet Kyle likes tequila, and that's about. Yeah. I'll have some of whatever. No, I Munch, bet Kyle much as as he's going to stuff does not clean his plate. I don't All relate right. to non-clean platers. Look how happy Kyle is. <laughs> so here's Tomlin in the back, also wearing a jacket. Pete. Uh, somebody asked, uh, Matt Rule built like a fridge. Any of them wearing Buck Mason? Well, if anyone is, it's it's Cliff, straight away. Do you think it's a little bit of a slappy move in a situation like this? Like, do these guys love dressing up? Of course not. But I think everyone kind of understands the assignment. Like, you, you don't, like, you can throw on the pink polo that Kyle's on, or you can do a button-up shirt. The collar shirt, even if it is, and maybe Cliff would be like, you know, this is a two hundred dollars shirt, which it might be. Is that kind of like, or is that just who he is? Like, I'm just. Cool. I mean, it is who he is, but yeah, it's a little bit. Now, I'm just going to be me, right? New age money. I don't adhere to your rules. It's not only a t-shirt; it's a it's a big neck t-shirt, right? Like we've got a lot of of uh, what are these? The traps? No, the delts. Yeah, I think they're Ex- traps. The things exposed here. I don't know my musculatory uh, that well, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, and, he's, and he's wearing shorts, which again, so is, if we look back here, we can, that photo doesn't quite show, but we got, that's Andy's leg back there. So Cliff is wearing shorts. Andy's wearing shorts. That might be, uh, but Belichick was wearing shorts, actually, not spotted. I, I don't, I don't think shorts are off limits at this thing. Okay. I mean, truly, it's coaches. Nothing's necessarily off limits, but it does. Like he does stand out in this situation. It's very on brand. Uh, Kevin O'Connell, there we go. Andy, uh, we mentioned him, but uh, as uh, as reliable as a Chipotle right. burrito, I'd say. Well, actually, that's, those aren't those are not reliable. You no, know, no, they're not. Uh, any any take on no Arians, no Belichick, no Dan Campbell? And Mike McCarthy, but you told me McCarthy. The McCarthy story didn't show balance. up. Belichick refuses. Uh, I would say Dan Campbell, decent chance his schedule was like he was just in the wrong. Like he was just, he got, you know, I could see the Lions giving him the incorrect itinerary because it doesn't feel like Dan Campbell's a not show up guy, right? If anything, Dan Campbell hangs his hat on first in guy, hard worker. I wonder if Dan Campbell's kicking himself. Why would you not want to be a part? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe something came up. Arians feels like he's going a little Belichick, like uh, against the establishment. One thing, though, you would say is like the the Andy guys and the Kyle guys, pretty like they're not. Which is eighty percent of this photo, by the way. Their ego isn't big enough. Like they want to take a photo. They know the NFL likes it. It's part of the business of the league, and they just it's fucking. You probably walk. A football field outside when you're, you, what are these guys really doing? <laughs> what are they doing all week? I also think it's just it's like, a basic it's like a wives party. This is a, this is just a snapshot of a moment in time. Like these were the coaches in the NFL in 2022. And you know, it's kind of weird that it's not a complete photo to me, you know, that the four guys not in the picture. Like this is just and I like Mike McCarthy's not there. So it's what's the house. But to me, Belichick and Arians, like, do some of these guys like, yeah, Bill, man, what an angry guy. Like, they're talking a little shit about him. I mean, like, Hackett couldn't, but, you know, Vrabel and Andy could. Like, oh, you know, Bill, shit. <laughs> angry. Good point. Bill seems to be very into NFL history, and this is a historical document here that he's not a part of. Like, you could tell Josh took some pride. I get to be back in the photo, right? It's Yeah. Yeah. Sims, and Mike McDaniel's McDermott. in the photo in all linen. <laughs> Which I know Mike, like this was the goal the whole time, but who's the most unlikely person to be in this photo? I mean, maybe Sirianni. I mean, he is, I guess, to be fair, he was Kyle Shanahan's run game coordinator. So the second you become Kyle Shanahan's offensive assistant, you have a chance to become a head coach. Who do you think has a better record this year, the Raiders or the Dolphins? I mean, the Dolphins, 
might not. I think the Dolphins might not be terrible. Feels like they're going to be pretty similar teams, right? Teams like competing to win 10, 11 games, but could also win eight or nine. Like, I don't see the Dolphins aren't going to win five. I mean, they've won 20. They've won. No, I don't know if Mike is as good a coach as Flores, but they won 10 and then they won nine. Like, they've been good a lot. Like, they have good players, you know? They've added some guys. They played the Jets twice. If you told me that the Dolphins Raiders were battling for a wild card spot toward the end of the year, I'd believe it. See the rumors of like Brady is not dead yet. Yeah, well, well originally started. A, somebody said the guy that uh, reported that was the first guy that said Brady was going to Tampa. But I don't, was that true? It was like a Boston reporter, right? Media person. Yeah, so someone else say that like Peyton and Brady isn't dead. It's like they get fire Mike McDaniel, oh. Sean Payton. Oh, Sean Payton and Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be kind of crazy. I think they hired a good coach. Yeah. So, uh, well, there you go. Also, I just love the water in the background. I actually it really did it. The water like shooting out of, out of, uh, Sirianni's ear and out of Staley's head, water shooting out of, uh, Frank Reich's ear. Something about the water in the air is kind of funny to me. There, there is just why. a paleness to Frank and Arthur Smith that is just uh, Arthur might even have Frank. I think Arthur is the palest guy there. Don't you? Yeah, I mean the the black shirt probably doesn't help him with the collar open, but I don't know if there was much he could do there. And the hair color. Look how great. I mean, Harbaugh's got good skin tone going. To me, Sala is just the guy just has the fantastic color. LaFleur is just so happy to be the head coach of the backers. LaFleur <laughs> all lined up. I mean, he got his whole beard lined up. The eyebrows plucked properly. Do you think Cliff and Kevin O'Connell have been like, you know, guys, I mean, we've been getting late since we were 13, and it ain't slowing down anytime soon, so we've just, we're just kind of buddies. <laughs> Kevin O'Connell might just be underrated for his Cliff-level lifestyle, you know? Yeah, it's like, you know, I was the starting quarterback in 03 at San Diego State. Uh, I don't know if you checked, but it has a similar vibe as like ASU or I don't, you know, whatever the, what would be like Florida State. I mean, uh, yeah, I've just been used to, you know, me and Cliff don't hear. We walk into the bar. What, who had the joke? Like here for the sex? Like we've been doing that since we were underage. I think it might have. Was it Louie? I'm here for the yeah, free my, sex. Yeah, the tall skinny guys. Walk in, I'm here for the free sex. It wasn't it free was free part of that word or that yeah, joke? It might have been. I don't know, but uh um, like I don't think Brian Dayball is used to that lifestyle, right? Like those two guys. Sean Sean kind of has that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just what an incredible Sean nickname. has the vibe of like just the superstar at high school that's just cocky, who has the best-looking girlfriend, who will get humbled in a couple of years, but it hasn't come yet. But he's just riding the wave right now. He can do no wrong. You know what would have been great about this photo, too, John, is if, like, up here in the balcony was Belichick. <laughs> like, sitting back there, smoking a cigar. Just like... <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. You know, like, why doesn't Bill do that? Just... On the or like shirtless, just getting a that tan. would have been incredible. Yeah, like little shorts, you know, like his swimming shorts that he'd been photo with before, and like his belly, and he was just on the balcony, shirt off, sandals, pair of swim shorts. Can somebody please Photoshop Belichick onto a belt? I might try to do it. Photoshop. I, ha- the I have a picture of him. I'll send it to you. Yeah, let's put Belichick on the balcony with his binocular what about bill with his binoculars <laughs> that's pretty good i i got an incredible photoshop of bill half naked i have some like i probably have 30 belichick photos in my in my phone it's pretty, <laughs> if someone just found my phone they'd be like what is going on here <laughs> well uh yeah i think we went through everybody somebody back here in the background i don't know what's going on back there but there's somebody not related to the coach's photo in the photo And uh, I think that's it. I think we went through everybody. Pretty solid. All with, I think I'd say probably should have start, led with this, but it's all love, as we do every year with the coach's photo. It's all love and appreciation. 
For if, um, Matt, if Matt Rule was Will Smith, he would have been slapping some people today because a lot of people were making fun of him. Exactly. No, I, that's a very good. That's a good point. There was a lot of uh, a lot of that, and uh, he's the butt of many jokes. I hope none of it hurt. <laughs>